Hi everyone, I hope all is well and that all of your loved ones in Israel are staying safe and Bezrat Hashem, with the help of Hashem, this crisis should be over soon. This week's Parsha is Parsha Parashit. We're starting the Torah anew again. Now there's one part of this week's Parsha in, in Hashem's creation of the world I really want to focus on today. And that's day four. On day four, Hashem creates all the constellations. He creates the sun, the moon, and the stars. Why? To separate between light and the dark, day and night. Right? We already had, he already created light. And so there was, there, there was a separation, or there was two different concepts of light and dark. But now we have real things that embody when it's light and when it's dark on day four. Now I'm sure since Simcha's Torah, since this crisis broke out, many of us have heard this Devar Torah, that the darkness represents evil and the light represents the ultimate good. Now, having all of this in mind, it's no coincidence that on our Yom Revi'i, on Wednesdays, the fourth day from Shabbat, we read Tehillim Tzadik Dalid, 94, Psalms 94, where we refer to God as, as Kel Nakamo, as a God of retribution. Where, where we go through a case, I'll, I'll put it in the description for this week's video, where it talks about things that, that are seemingly happening today, where women and children are being killed by our enemies, right? Really terrible, terrible stuff. Um, and ultimately what it says is when it feels like we're being pushed down, right? For There are all these people, there are all these people that can't see the difference, right? They're not able to really visualize the constellations that show where the, it, figuratively, where the good, where the light is and where the dark is, where the good is, where the evil is, right? There's some people in this world that just, they just can't see that. I'm on a college campus and unfortunately on so many college campuses around the country, around the world, there are just so many people that, that can't see this difference. Now for all of these people, we, in this instance, we refer to Hashem as, as the God of retribution, as he's going to repay the wicked for, for, for what they've done. Now again, so Tehillim 94 is going through all these cases of this, this kind of wicked person that, that does all these horrific things to the Jewish people that seemingly are going on right now. Now, it says toward the end of the Psalm that when it feels like we're being pushed down, when our feet are lifting up, right, we're falling backwards, Hashem will console us, right? Hashem's loving, love and kindness, it will come, it will console us. But how, how is that, right? How, Hashem's just not, not going to come and, I mean, He's not just going to come and console us in a time, we have to put an effort too in a time of need. And how do we do that? says that one who cleaves to Hashem, Hashem will cleave to you, right? So by learning Torah, by doing milu chasadim, kindness, charity, tzedakah, right? By doing all these things, we could really cleave to Hashem and that way Hashem could really help console us as a nation because at the end of the day, we really know that we're going to, this is how the, the, um, the, the psalm ends, that, that we know at the end of the day, Hashem is going to, is going to repay the wicked for what they've done and we'll come out on top, um, as we've seen throughout history. Um, so I just want to give everyone a bracha that throughout these difficult times, we're really able to connect with Hashem. I've seen more people that put on tefillin this week. They've never, like every single day this week, they've never put on tefillin consistently before, just because they have this feeling that I need, I need, I need something else in my life. I need some help from Hashem. Um, so that's my bracha for everyone that we, re we pick one thing. We pick one thing for us to really connect to Hashem so that Hashem could connect to us. And again, Bezrat Hashem, hopefully this will be over soon. And with that, I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom.